right, what's up everyone? We're here back at the Cup Match Classic and I saw you last year. I'm never not doing this weekend. <laughs> I'm always gonna be here at Cup Match, always. We have the Shiana Torini right now here at Cup Match 2019. And Makaya. Yeah. First time in Bermuda. Yeah. How you feeling, Cup Match 2019? Great, yeah, it's beautiful here. It's a beautiful yeah. game, yeah, definitely. We have Ashley from Wisconsin. Hello. I know no one from Wisconsin. <laughs> So okay. tell me about Wisconsin. Uh, beer and cheese. Beer and cheese. That's all I need to know. All right, Cece, you're here in Bermuda. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And um, cop match. This is our biggest weekend. Somerset. Biggest holiday. Somerset. Why Somerset? Because I love red. I'm from Brooklyn, okay. so I didn't really know. I wanted to do St. George's because my friend, Minister Jamal and Sherry, they are from George, St. George's. Right. But I love red and I didn't have any blue, so I'm like totally Team Somerset. That's fair enough. Now you got on yellow. Yes. So, red and blue. I'm blue neutral. I'm neutral. Neutral. And your colors today are looking very neutral. So, <laughs> as a first timer, you have to pick a team, St. George's or Somerset? Uh... Orange and blue. I don't see any red. I don't see any light blue. Is it safe to assume that you're in a neutral stance? Or... The governor has many important decisions to make, but one of them is to stay neutral at cup match. Now you have chosen to wear blue. Yep. And you have won the blue and blue ribbon. Yep. So Thank how did you make that decision? Uh, I didn't really have a choice. It was all the friends that I have on the island are majority St. George's. Okay. So. St. George's or Somerset? St. George's. All right, well done. That's what I have on, blue and blue. <laughs> all right, blue, yeah. Blue's my favorite color, too. You're in your red and blue, and I have on my blue and blue. And blue and blue and blue. You have multiple shades of blue, but you know they're the same color, right? <laughs> I do. Barmian. Barmian? Oh my god, that's you? Yes. That's so awesome. I love your stuff. I follow that from the States. Seriously? Yeah, on Facebook and Instagram. All the way yeah. up from Wisconsin? Yep, I follow it. I follow a lot of Bermuda stuff. Cup match time in Bermuda. <laughs> Beverage in hand, flag in hand. That's right. This is the beauty of cup match. We're standing side by side. So are the fans and so are the people around the world. Tell everyone that's watching right now how much cup match means. 117 years we've been celebrating a tradition. This tradition was, is such, celebrating the emancipation of slavery. Two uh, lodges started a cricket match that was simply uh, a testament to sport. Over years, the Meridians took time off of work. They were not given permission by their bosses. They were not given permission uh, by people around them. And they took it uh, fighting against the grain in 1946 they were given the opportunity to have the Sons of and the government of the day made it into a national holiday. These since then have been celebrating openly and the government permission cup match. This is a celebration of the emancipation of slavery. Thank you very much last night for the emancipation first annual, because we need to do that every year. <laughs> dinner. Which okay. was incredible. We got to meet some some very, you know, influential people that you brought here to Bermuda to experience. Yeah. Our culture. Now you're a phenomenal photographer. I met you last night at Shiona's dinner. Um, but you're a phenomenal photographer. I mean, you have taken photos of the likes of Pharrell I saw in your feet. Um, tell us about some of the shots that you, you've been able to get so far in Bermuda. So I've been taking shots uh, with Shiona and we're styling them with Pierre Moss and some of their clothing. So it's really cool to kind of connect with the locals here and kind of like have like a whole photo shoot experience and really connect to who they are as a person and kind of go to these different locations around the island that mean different things to the story of Bermuda. Um, I have been living away for almost 20 years and Cup Match still remains my favorite holiday, more important to me than even like Christmas. And I thought it was so important to share that experience with the rest of the world and most importantly people of influence in the community that has embraced me because they don't know. Oh no. I'm not into this. Right in the middle of that. 
So I'm going to send me in a catch. And I'm not into it. I'm a St. George's girl. I'm a St. George's guy, and this is, this is, this is a good matchup. All right, now take us around the oval. What well, some of these stops that you make sure that you hit up? Well, I just sent out a WhatsApp message to all my friends and said, hey, let me know where your camps are. Um, I was just asking somebody where is St. David's Seafood because they always have the best seafood. Okay, now you got fish. Order fish with St. David's Seafood. That's your wife's fish? It's my wife's fish for lunch. She, that's all she wanted today is to order fish. She's sitting down, she watched the game. So I can't, have, I can't have a piece? You can take a tiny piece, but understand that you can cause yourself some problems later because I'm going to blame you. Actually, I don't eat fish. No, you're a vegan. But convince mm -hmm. me how well this fish tastes. I had a piece earlier, it's delectable, it's battered properly, um, it's local Bermuda fish, it's something that it's, it's traditional, this is the one time a year that we come down and get some fish, it's, it's, it's to die for. I'm gonna wear this time! I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear this time! I won before, you know! I did! Okay, alright. I'm done, I'm done! I don't get it! I love you, I love you. We got you on camera just now. You lost three times. No, right? but let me. No, 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 no. I won earlier. You did, but we yes, didn't catch but you, that. I think you gave me bad luck. You didn't catch that. <laughs> what I will say though is that I'm for St. George's and you're for Somerset, and you didn't win just now. You're supposed to say about what got the cup. I don't have to say it because you already know. You uh, said it for me. You saw that? You saw that? Reverse psychology. Somerset! Got some of your friends here, so. So it's my frat brothers. We're celebrating our 15 year anniversary, and we decided to come to Bermuda to celebrate. I brought out my, my sister, Lala Anthony. Brought out my boy, Lance Gross, Megan Good. The premier picked up the phone, said, come through. Everybody just got on the flight. We like, we coming to celebrate in Bermuda. You guys have one of the most amazing islands, and we enjoying ourselves. We having a great time. Terrence, thank you, man. Thank you so much, man. St. George's, we came, you we did. played, it was a good game, you did. but um, to the Somerset fans, of course, still here holding the cup, what's your message today, I'm going into 2020, back up in the West. Just, just keep me faith like they always do. You know, I had a lot of Somerset fans matches me last night saying, don't worry about it, it's a whole second day. And I was telling them the same things. You know, they, they support us all the time, whether it's cup matches around or not. You know, they should have always got our backs and just support us again come next year.